Welcome to module 10 in the software engineering course and this is the final module in which we will discuss the topic of continuous software engineering. So the emphasis here is on the word continuous. We would like to do things not only once, not only at a certain point in time, but continuously throughout the overall software engineering process. And this is already somewhat embedded in the idea of agile software development, and we do things in iteration. We don't just do planning once and then we continue, but we plan before each sprint. We write tests during each sprint. So we have customer interaction during each sprint. Uh, but then this, has, this trend has continued to look at other parts of software engineering and ask ourselves, how can we make things more continuous? And uh, Parts we will look into are, for example, the practices of continuous integration, usually written CI, continuous deployment, or CD, and continuous experimentation. And in this context, uh, there is also a topic that has come up quite a lot, uh, and that is nowadays quite a popular topic, is sort of the new Agile, and that's the concept of DevOps, which we will also discuss in this context. So, uh, continuous integration is essentially the practice of integrating, uh, of pushing your code to a central repository, like a Git repository, build it, test it automatically, and do that on a frequent basis several times daily or every day, uh, so that you have always a ready tested version. Deployment then, continuous deployment, is that you additionally to build it and test it on a regular basis, you also deploy it to the end users directly. Uh, and that's of course, we'll go into depth here, but it's of course quite a different thing uh, that you completely automatically just deploy to an end user. Then we have the practice of continuous experimentation, which is uh, the idea that similar as we do in science, that you run experiments, you compare different versions of your software, and you do that on a continuous basis in the production environment. So you might be deploying different versions of your software to see whether one feature is preferred by users over another, for instance. Uh, and then DevOps is, uh, is sort of a combination of development and operation because in the good old times we would develop the software, hand it over, and someone else, some other teams or other company would operate it. Uh, the idea here is to make this a continuous loop that the team that develops also operate, runs the software, gets feedback, and uh, continuously evolves the software basically. So in a way, DevOps con uh, contains these concepts quite a lot. So we will. Uh, look now in the rest of the module a couple, into a couple of these concepts and explain in detail um, what, why you want them, what is needed, and what might be difficult to do.